Hi guys, welcome to the tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see about polymorphism, this keyword and super keyword. Okay, first we will see about polymorphism. What is polymorphism? Polyformism is a Greek word. It means one method with different forms. Polymorphism means different forms. So here in OOPS concept, one method which, 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 which can take different forms. Here, the polymorphism can be achieved by overloading and overriding. Okay, we will see about what is overloading and overriding. What is overloading? Same method name with different parameter, signature or return type can, can be used in the same class. This is called overloading. And what is overriding? Here, uh, we have seen the inheritance where the parent class will have some properties and child class can able to inherit those properties from parent class. Uh, overriding means where child class override the, over, override the super class methods. That is called as overriding. Okay, we will see a program to explain uh, overloading and overriding. First, we see about the overriding concept example. Okay, for overriding concept here, first I am going to use parent class uh, bicycle.java and for child class, I am going to use this road bicycle.java because this road bicycle extends bicycle. So, the bicycle is the parent class and the road bicycle is the uh, child class. So, here I have a method called riding in the uh, parent class. And also the same method I am here I have with a different implementation here where uh, the bicycle is used for riding and in the road bicycle the road bicycle used for road riding. Okay now I am going to explain the overloading concept. So I have created the test cycle method or Java to explore the overloading concept. Here I am going to create uh, I just remove the uh, all the code here for the clear understanding here first uh, overloading means uh, oh, child class is overriding the parent class method so for uh, to explain that I'm going to create a uh, parent class object with child class reference for creating now I'm creating parent class object the parent class is bicycle b is equal to new of child class reference so i have to give road bicycle okay now i have created the parent class object with child class, child class reference using this object if i call riding method it should print uh, it should print the uh, child class behavior because here the child class will override the uh, parent class method. Right click run as Java application. See here this it, it has printed the child class implementation. Road cycle is used for road riding. This has been implemented in the uh, child class. So this is the overriding concept. Okay now we will see about the overloading. Uh, overloading can be done in the same class so I'm going to create a demo class for overloading right click select class demo overloading okay I have created the class now I'm going to write uh, uh, overloading means the method name should be the same but it should, should have the different parameter. So to explain that I just create a method called void int add. It should have the parameter A and B. OK. 
calculating for result int r is equal to a plus b here i am printing the result in the sys dot out dot println result okay so for overloading we have created a one method so we have to create another method with a different parameter list so with the same method name add int a int b again i am going to create one more parameter int c So here int r is equal to this I am going to copy this into the second method also. So here I am using this three parameters so I am going to add one more parameter. The void spelling is wrong so I am just correcting the spelling. Now I will create object inside this main method. Class name overloading object dv is equal to new of class name so we got the object dv using the dv object we are going to call the uh, add method so here now first i am passing a parameter uh, 2 and 3 and after that using the same object i am going to pass three parameters okay we will see the output see uh, we have passed for first for two parameter four and two and we got the result six we here we have passed three parameter three seven nine and we got the result as nine so this is the uh, overloading concept okay now we will see about the uh, this and super keyword this keyword is used to refer the current object and the super keyword is used to refer the parent class members okay we will see the example for this this and super keyword in programming first we will see a program to explain the super keyword for explaining the super keyword we should have the uh, child class and parent class okay i'm going to take this parent class bicycle uh, bicycle.java as a parent class and this uh, mount bicycle java at the uh, child class okay now i just remove this uh, existing method and i'll uh, create a uh, code to uh, uh, i will create a code to explain the super keyword okay here i have a riding class and also in bicycle method also riding class so in a child class if you want to access the parent class members or uh, uh, methods you can use just super keyword super dot see now you are having all, all the methods which belongs to parent class see super dot riding is a parent class method and a super class seat is a parent class member and wheels also member so i'm just going to have super dot riding okay inside the main method i have created object for the child class and i'm calling this uh, riding method we will see the output right click right click run as java application see uh, here in the riding child class uh, child class riding method i have created only implementation my implementation as mount cycle is used for mounted riding but as i called super dot riding it has called the super class riding method also and also it has printed that class implementations also here so this is the uh, use of super keyword okay we have seen the super keyword now we will see about the this keyword here i have created a demo program keyword and i have created a class with two class variables which is account number and the balance 
and the class variable uh, have the same here and also I have created a uh, method to set the set values to set the value for the class variables and also here I have a show data to print the class variables which has been assigned here in the set value. Mm, note here uh, the class number account number balance will have the same name as the parameter list variable account number and balance and if I assign the account number and balance to the uh, class variable so here I am creating in the main method I am creating an object for the demo keyword here object keyword object is equal to new demo demo this keyword and this using this object I am going to call set value and in the set values method I am going to pass the value 11 and 100 so this 11 and 100 has to be assigned to the um, class variable account number and the balance and I also calling the show data to print the values which has been assigned to the class member. Okay, now I will run the program. Right click run as Java application. Here I got output as 00. zero. But here I have passed 11 and 100. But I am getting 0 and 0. Why? Because the account number in the class variable and the account number in the parameter list have the same name if while executing this two class I mean uh, exe while executing this two loop uh, instruction the compiler will get confused whether this left hand side variable is uh, our instant variable or the right hand side is instant variable so it is not uh, uh, executing properly and it is not uh, giving the output properly so to avoid this problem you have to uh, you you have, you have to use this this keyword so now i am going to use this dot account number this means uh, this refers to the current variable so here um, we are telling the compiler this uh, this side this account number this dot account number is the instant variable and the account number is the parameter which has been passed so the parameter passed is 11 and 100 this will be assigned to this account number and this balance okay now i will run the output right click run this java application mm, it's asking me to save and launch okay i will save so see here i got 11 and 100 which i have passed if i want if i'm passing some other value also that will be getting printed now i'll pass 13 and uh, 1003 or right click run as java application see 13 and 1003 has been printed here so in this tutorial we have seen about the polymorphism uh, in the polymorphism we have seen uh, overloading overriding concept and also we have seen about the super keyword and these keyword okay thank you for watching the tutorial have a great day